You will see me off then? I thank you. Lord Leo John, what did you do? Lord Leo Bay's country, you fool. But we were supposed to do if you leave us, my lord. Everyone, please listen. I have decided to go on and enjoy life in Luoyang. So I want you to go on living your lives happily as well. Treat that for you. It's all right, Shinsai. Many people have fallen in pursuit of my father's dream for the world. I am the one who destroyed Shu. I am the one who trampled on their hopes. This pain is something that I must bear alone. Finally, one of the problems facing us has now been fully solved. What are you saying, Zhao? There's still the final move to be made. What move? The execution of the Shu Emperor, Liu Chan. He must carve this defeat deep into the hearts of all the losers. And they must never forget that they have lost the battle. And you're saying that that is the life of Liu Chan? There's nothing that will work better. We're not doing that, Hu Chong. I'll strive for a world without grief. That is what I told Liu Chan. I vowed I would not betray that. Even if that weakness someday brings back the chaos? You're wrong. People find peace by forgiving others. Isn't that right? Yes. Even Sun Hu. <laughs> then show me that you can end the chaos following this so-called path of yours. Ah. I will. You just watch me. Forgive me for causing you such pain. But Lord Sima Zhao has been gracious enough to allow us to commune with each other again. Lord John. Why? Why did you surrender? We could still fight. We could have fought and achieved all of the Prime Minister's wishes. Why? I won't ask you to forgive me. But I am sick of the fighting. I have absolutely no desire for it. You have forced us to yield from the moment you decided to give up. Jiang Wei. You have always given me your all and truly done your very best serving the house of Shu. 
but it is all over now. There is no more need to bear that burden. How can... Speak no more, Jiang Wei. With this, Shu's battle is finally over. Lord Liu Bei died before realizing his dream of a better world. Then the Prime Minister inherited that dream and gave his life to guide Shu. And now, Master Liu Sha. Jiang Wei, I know that Shu is thinking. There is just so little that I am able to do. Lord Liu Shan, I ask, you must not say such things. I am right here at your side. <laughs> that is truly reassuring. Still, don't go overboard. <sighs> Lord Liu Shan, did not want to continue fighting anymore. That is why he chose to surrender. But if I were to give up on everything here, would anything else remain? I wonder where is the light of hope? Times are changing. We must gain an advantage before the memory of the benevolent world Lord Leo Bay dreamt of fades away. I cannot allow myself to waver. No matter what happens, I must be strong. If I do, then, there's a chance. <sighs> Good afternoon, Master Sima Zhao. Hey, Leo Chun. How have you been lately? I believe I am well. Though I do get lonely sometimes. Hmm. You don't look like it's you you're lonely for. You are right about that. I just didn't have what it took to carry on the great legacy of those men who managed to carve a path long before me. Every time I think of that fact, I start to grow rather lonely. I see. I find myself worried at times too. Those who came before us, who built up the Three Kingdoms, cast too large a shadow, too broad, and too deep for us to ever match. But they are no longer here. We can no longer remain comfortably in that shadow. We must learn what we can do and find satisfaction in that. But even so, it is up to us to take it all in. You are strong, aren't you? If only I possessed such strength. 
Leave it alone. That would just mean that I would have to kill you. We have made our decision, you and I. You mustn't sway from your resolve. I... I must conquer the world. alone? It's dangerous without bodyguards. It's okay. I doubt that anyone wants to kill me now. And so, I am releasing you from your duties. My lord, what do you mean? You have helped me for so long. I believe you should have time to rest. <sighs> so, what about taking a trip? You have seen enough. Come back to me. I'll be waiting for you. like a bumper crop this year. <laughs> this waterway that you made us has given us new purpose for both work and for life. Hmm. I just looked at a map and built it. Exactly where I thought that it should go. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how important you get, or how muscle you get, that part of you never changes, does it? Hmm. I have not change since we all work together to build those embankments. That is actually why I came today. It really helps to hear you say it without me having to ask. <laughs> <laughs> we hear it's turmoil over there at Chengdu. So we wanted to come lift up your spirits. We heard that you were coming today and we have prepared a banquet for you. We even have those delicious pig feet you like so much. Oh, well, thank you very much. Tonight, I shall eat feet and tail stories. <laughs> it will be a most welcome diversion. <laughs> you know, my wife is very pleased now that I have more energy on a long day of work. <laughs> Where did Master Zhao run off to again, I wonder? fast you skip out on your responsibilities and go to sleep in my room I think you need to be punished for this then please punish me I don't trust this meekness lately everyone has been real formal it's boring 
you're the only one that treats me like before. I don't care what your rank is. You are still you, you know. You running off and coming in here is proof of that. <laughs> I guess you're right. If you're tired, I'll forgive you for a little while. Hmm? But I'm going to be watching that you don't go running off somewhere else. Huh? Thanks. That'll help a lot. Oh. <sighs> hmm. 